hello guys welcome back to the channel now today i'll be showing you how to personalize your own home screen now this video is being made on the request of you all because i have shared some screenshots of my personal phone and my per personalized home screen and many of you have liked that we uh, like that screenshots and also requested for a video tutorial on how to personalize or customize your home screens so today i'll be making a video just for that and so without any further ado let's get this video started now before we start the one thing that i want to add actually two things is that firstly i am using my computer and recording this on streamlabs obs and using the blue stacks or msi app player which is an android emulator to uh, emulate what we will be doing so regardless of what you are using as long as your device runs android whether it is a phone or a tablet or a emulator used on your computer the, you will be able to do the same thing and follow the same steps just to personalize your home screen and the second thing that i wanted to add is that the widget application that we'll be using is kwgt which is a free to download app but in order to apply any kind of widget skins or widget pack we will have to purchase the pro versions or the paid version of the app or you can always pirate the apk file and file load it so now that that's clear let's get this video started now the application that we'll be using today is nova launcher wh icons or white icons kwgt and the fish kwgt widget pack okay so at first you have to download nova launcher this is the very first step you can get it from google play store or any or any other app store of your choice go to nova launcher and then you will be greeted with uh, initial setup process click on start fresh and click next you can choose either light or dark theme but for the sake of sanity i will go with dark click next choose the swipe up drawer style because we will not be using any kind of icons for accessing the app drawer as it will not look clean and it's a bit old school after android nougat or 7.1 or 7 the android has went to sort of a draw, uh, swipe up gesture style app drawer so we'll be using swipe up and click apply then you, uh, you will be greeted with a fresh new home screen and here you can see that many icons and widgets are pre-applied on the pages of the home screen now just remove everything because we want the canvas to be as clean as possible and if possible just empty without anything just remove all now as i am showing you this on an emulator the application thinks i am using a tablet so i will just Put the screen orientation to force portrait just to emulate how it would look like on a mobile phone okay now that that's done you can see just leave the dock here we will get to that later on now the first thing you will do is create two pages because the setup that i have uh, used on my phone and i am still using today is of two pages and consists of three widgets in total so as far as my home screen I have created two blank pages now on the main screen long press go to widgets scroll down till you find kwgt and choose the 4 by 4 layout of the widgets long press that and drag it to your home screen now just resize it such that it covers up the whole canvas of the home screen now this won't fill up the dock area because the dock is uh, the dog differs and has its own place from the canvas so just leave it until it stretches you can see that it's two pages one page is already filled up we'll get to the second page later on but for now let's stick to the first page so now click or tap just to set it up and you will be gre greeted by the kwgt application screen from here you will be able to choose any widget you want there are about 200 plus very aesthetically pleasing widgets which you can choose from but i will choose the widget that is on my own home screen as 
I will be emulating exactly what my own home screen on my own phone looks like so this is the widget that I am using on my phone so click on that and you can see the scaling is a bit uh, we can say broken you can fix that on the layer by turning down or turning up the scaling number now don't go enormous on the normal uh, number just start with smaller values such as 101 102 until you can see that it fills up the whole home screen on my laptop the aspect ratio my is is or might not actually match the uh, scaling ratio of android operating system that's why it might look a bit out of order but we are going to ignore that okay now that we have chosen the we have chosen the widget just click on the save icon and it will go saved then just return on the home screen you can see it looks like this on your mobile phone it should enlarge to at least this size this size if it does not enlarge by default just increase the scaling number and it will work just fine but as i'm using a laptop and a mobile emulator the application thinks i'm using a tablet and thus it is scaling in a tablet orientation so now that that is done go to the second screen go to widgets in the nova launcher area just scroll till you find the search bar take up or you can place it down i prefer it to be here in the top now resize it to fill up the whole screen then long press go to settings go to home screen find the search bar area here like here go to search bar style the style is exactly what it look uh, what i want so i won't change anything just change the color change the color to match the background on my home screen so i have chosen teal you can also go with blue but i like the search bar to blend in with my wallpaper so now click on the check icon and you can see it looks like this you can choose anything you can change the search icon you can use a colorful google icon but i like the minimal white icon so i will just leave it to that now go back and now that our home screen is done let's go back to the dock dock area now the dock area might not look that clean so at first what you will do is place your icons like this now you can have any icon you want any icon that you use more often you can have it there is no restrictions on what icons you can put in the dock just make sure you only choose four icons you can go for more icons but you have to choose in pages which i will explain a bit later on now go to settings go to home screen go to dock and then from here choose dock icons go to four because four dock icons are pretty standard in any in actually a majority of the android and also apple phones now this looks clean as per my preference if you want you can increase that or decrease that but if you want to keep it four and get more icons on your dock just increase the dock pages and you will have another page on the docking area and just dock your most favorite apps there Okay, now that that's done, go back. Now, go to look and feel. Go to icon style. Click on icon theme and choose WH icons or Y icons, which is actually stands for white icons. This is what the developer need. So see, this is how it should look like. And you can also choose the shape of any adaptive icons. I'm just going to leave it to rounded square because I like it. So go back. You can see that my dock looks pretty clean now and my home screen is done now yes you know that this is not exactly how my mobile phone looks like so I will add a clip right after this video but for now this is how it all should look like now you can hide the status bar if you want I actually hide the status bar but if you want you can keep that but for a much more cleaner look you can hide that so just go to settings look and feel scroll down till you find notification bar turn that option and boom you're done and that's it there is nothing much more left 
and yeah now there is a bonus step that if you want it's optional you can do it for example match the accent color of the app drawer with your home screen wallpaper so just go to nova settings app drawer scroll down to scroll accent color click that and choose blue or teal according to your choice i chose blue here for a bit of a contrast and see it looks pretty good now and does blend in perfectly with the wallpaper now let's come back to the wallpaper choosing the wallpaper or finding this is pretty easy so just go to cool chrome you can just type in 4k plain wallpaper sorry i have to go to this process oh that was quick just 4k plain wallpaper go to iPhone area and you will find this I chose mine from here this wallpaper cave.com and this plain color and you can do the same or choose any other wallpaper as you want the, the widget I chose goes uh, perfectly fine with lighter colors or lighter gradients so I would prefer that but for me I chose this as it looks very clean and minimal and I kind of like plain colors as my background so that was it for today hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it and hope you guys really find it easy to personalize your home screen just like mine you can also use it to use this tutorial just to customize the home screen how you want it you don't it is necessary that you have to follow what I just did you can just download the following applications and experiment with your own widgets and icon packs and also wallpapers so that's up to you so if you guys liked it please like comment and share so hope and see you in the next one till then peace